Right? Very commonly, men can develop problems in and around the foreskin or under that foreskin on the penis. It's called balanitis, and that's just from chronic irritation. It could be a yeast infection. It could be that it got dry. Oftentimes, it can be a hygiene issue. The first thing you want to do is keep it clean and dry and try antifungal creams over the counter. If it continues to be a problem, then you probably should see a urologist who can assess to determine whether or not there's something more serious. You always, though very rare, penile cancer is a concern. You want to make sure there's nothing going on there. And then if it turns out that there is a problem, chronic infections that are not resolving, then you want to look at the options. One of them is formal circumcision, which is the last option. Another one is what's called a dorsal slit, where instead of removing the foreskin, they simply cut through the scar that develops so that you can retract it easily and maintain good hygiene. Sometimes it's simply just changing the medications or aggressive medications. Sometimes lesions on the penis can be actually drug reactions that manifest themselves or allergic reactions. So you should never assume that it's just one thing. You know, if you've got recurrent infections, don't just jump right to circumcision. You want to know why you're getting the infections. Maybe it's the first warning sign of being diabetic. These are all things that can play into it. That's, again, where a good doctor will see the big picture and look at more than just what's obvious to try to figure out what's going on and then help you decide what's best for you because ultimately you have to decide what you want for yourself. The doctor is really there to provide a service and ideally provide you the pros and cons of the options so you can choose intelligently.